You're watching NurseTV.com. How are you doing? Are you ready, boss? Drive. On a busy day, San Diego Critical Care Transport Nurse Annie Restifo might work a handful of calls similar to this demonstration. She's a 27-year-old motorcycle accident, C-spine precautions. She is intubated, 7.5 French ET tube orally. Uh, vent settings are assist control rate of 12, tidal volume of 600, FiO2 of 100, uh, PEEP of 5 and pressure support of 10. Uh, she does have a left pneumothorax. Thorax. Lungs are diminished on the left base, otherwise uh, clear throughout. And tidal CO2 is 34% with good misting to the ET tube. Rastifo never works alone. Today her EMT is Shane, the person she calls her right-hand man. He anticipates anything I need. Um, you know, in a code situation where the patient, you know, crashes, um, I rely on him to get me what I need, my equipment. So um, the EMT's roles are pretty important. Depending on the patient's location, Crews attempt to get the victim to the nearest facility within 10 minutes, but sometimes, when the situation is extremely time sensitive, even 10 minutes can be too long. We've been in code situations where we have two nurses and we're just, we're all over the place. I mean, as far as, you know, because we're going code, we're going fast, the bumps. I mean, this particular rig is, you can feel every bump. Um, and we just, you know, make sure that we're safe and we're not, you know, falling into each other. Restifo might scribble a few notes along the way, but her eyes rarely wander off the patient and the vital signs. She's normal sinus rhythm. Her oxygen saturation is 100%, which is great. She's on the ventilator, so that means that um, the ventilator is uh, working well. We just want her to relax. Um, if I notice that she's um, buckling the tubing or um, she's getting a little restless, then I just give her more medication because we want to paralyze her temporarily at this point. Especially with a close head injury, we don't want to stimulate her. This victim was transported to Sharp Memorial Hospital. In less than two minutes, the victim is in the emergency room. Restifo also splits time as an ER nurse, but she has truly grown to love spending time in the truck. And being able to spend that one-on-one -on -one time with a patient, which unfortunately you can't do in a hospital setting because you just have multiple patients, you know, you get to know the patient, you get to reassure them, you know, you get to talk to them, get to know them. And by the time, you know, you've calmed them down, we're at the, you know, receiving facility. San Diego Medical Services Enterprise is the city of San Diego's 911 ambulance provider. They have worked all emergency 911 transports to area hospitals since 1997. For Nurse TV in San Diego, I'm Mark Prescott. For more stories about nurses, go to nursetv.com.